Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to very quickly and very easily add a grunge texture to your photos. So I have this photo right here and uh, I already edited it in black and white. It's it, Most of the edits are, are very good, ready to go, but I want to add a more a grungy, textury feel to the image. And this is very easy to do. You can almost do this with any texture that you find online. Uh, but I have this one right here. And as you can see, it's a, you know, kind of a concrete feel and uh, I need to get this onto my original image. And so all I'm going to do is get my move tool. I'm going to click and hold and drag it onto my image and just release it. And you can see it's kind of orientated differently. So I need to hit command or control T and now I can rotate it and kind of mimic the, uh, the orientation of the photo. And all I'm going to do is stretch it out and uh, make it fill up the whole photo. Now one good thing about doing this technique here is that the texture that you're using doesn't need to be a very high resolution texture. Obviously it helps if it isn't, if it is, but if it isn't, it actually works out pretty well. And so I have this texture. Now I need to see the underlying photo because this is on top. And so the easiest way to add the effect and to, and to make that happen is to play with your blending modes. Blending modes are very powerful. They uh, they do a whole lot of stuff in, in Photoshop and it's just too much to cover in this video. Uh, but I'm just gonna click on the overlay texture. And as you can see, it takes away most of the uh, contrast in the original image while still allowing the uh, underlying image to show through. And I'm just going to zoom in on some of these pieces here. You can see in the sky, you still have that texture. On the subject, you have the texture. It works really well on the uh, concrete in the foreground. And so that looks pretty good. You can play with underblending modes like soft light. You can even play with multiply kind of gives a darker feel. So let's say if I wanted to use multiply, if I wanted to lessen the effect, all I got to do is lower the opacity. And as you can see, it's starting to brighten up a little bit and also take away a little bit of the texture. So it depends on what you want to do. And so I'm going to go back to overlay and show you one other little trick. Then that's using the layer mask here. I'm just going to click on the layer mask and I want my subject to be a little bit less uh, textured. Uh, so I'm just going to click on my brush, make sure my brush is black. And all I'm going to do is paint away the effect on the, uh, the person, the subject. So I'm just going to quickly paint over this. All right, and there you go. Now my subject doesn't have the texture feel to it, but the rest of the image does. So it kind of gives a little bit more artistic, stylized effect to it uh, without making your subject look a little more, more distorted. Uh, but if you don't like it, obviously you can just right click on it, delete layer mask, and there it is again. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to add a quick grunge effect to your photo. It makes it look really well, especially if you just want to uh, add a little bit more special effects to your photos. Uh, it's a pretty cool technique. So hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com and I'll see you in the next video.